Today I'm standing on the shores of Lake Washington, nearby Microsoft's main campus in Redmond, Washington. I'm standing in front of a bridge. It's called the Evergreen Point Floating Bridge, or 520 Bridge, as locals tend to call it. But it's not just any bridge. It's actually a modern marvel of engineering. It's a mile and a half long, and it floats. It floats thanks to more than 70 pontoons, each of them made of concrete. Why build the longest floating bridge in the world? Well, it's because Lake Washington is deep and the bottom is soft, so traditional construction techniques just don't work. The first bridge was made available for public use in 1963 with an expected lifespan of 50 years. As the bridge crossed its 40th anniversary, people began to realize we were going to need to replace it, and it was not going to be an inexpensive endeavor. It would take more than four and a half billion dollars. Debate after debate, year after year, went precisely nowhere. That's why in 2011, with only two years left on that 50-year lifespan, the community came together. Led by business leaders, supported by a governor, everyone, including Microsoft, lent their voice. And we said, it is time to keep this state moving forward. The legislature found the political will, it passed the bill, it funded the construction, and in 2016, this new bridge started its public use. It's environmentally sensitive, it has a capacity to add light rail to the pontoons in the future. But for me, there's a story about this bridge that goes beyond the technology and the engineering. It still takes people to resolve together that we'll find a way to get great things done. That's something I try to remember every time I cross this bridge.